Since I don't know when I've been drinking bourbon whiskey Scotch and gin Gonna get high, man I'm gonna get loose Need me a triple shot of that juice Hey folks, Revolutionary Brewer here uh, Coming back with another homebrew kit review uh, we've been changing it up a little bit lately, trying a few different uh, brands of kits out, but uh, today we're going to go back to an old favorite of mine, and that's the Cooper's Kits. It's uh, Canada Day here in Canada, but we're actually going to be sampling a English Bitter. So this is the Cooper's English Bitter uh, kit. First of all, a little bit about the style. Um, English Bitter, the name's a little misleading. It's not really supposed to be a bitter beer. It's more of a mild beer. Uh, a standard English bitter uh, generally probably come in between 3 or 4 percent, uh, the reason being in England uh, back in the day, it's probably still the same way today, um, the uh, beer was actually taxed according to the volume of alcohol in it. So in order to have cheaper taxes they would lower the amount of alcohol in the beer, so that's why you'll see this coming in at maybe 3 percent. Uh, in an English pub. Um, this one here is going to be about 5%. Uh, there's different classes of uh, bitter. The regular 3 to 4% bitter, that would just be a, s a regular bitter. Between 4 and 5% that would be classified as a special bitter. Anything 5% over would be an extra special bitter. And this is really what this is closest to, is an extra special bitter. So without any further ado, we'll go ahead and crack it open and give it a try. Uh, this one here, it's brewed in a Grolsch bottle. These are pretty handy bottles. You don't got to cap them. It's just got the cap already on them. But let's open it up and uh, get to it. A little bit of smoke coming off this one. We'll give it a pour. Nice propeller glass. Uh, local brewery around here. They make some fine craft beer. But let's uh, pour this and see how she turns out. Got a nice head on. I got to take it easy with the pour. 450 milliliters of goodness right here. A little bit aggressive with the pour as you can see. Big head on it. And uh, notice the color. It's a beautiful copper color. It's a dark copper color. Uh, one of the things you'll notice on the kit, I think it actually looks a little bit lighter than this, but it's going to turn out a little bit darker than on the kit and a little bit darker than your standard bitter. So this would be something like uh, comparable commercially to a uh, Fuller's ESB. You probably pick that up in most uh, international sections if you're in a pretty good beer store. So anyways, uh, without any further ado, let's uh, get into this and give it a taste. Had to get through all the foam there. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, this beer right here. It's an amazing beer. Uh, I will warn you right off the bat, it is actually lives up to its name. It is a little bit bitter. It's, I find it's one of the most bitter uh, Cooper's kits actually out there. But it's a real good beer, a real nice balance. It's nice and hoppy, but it's a good balance. It's not going to blow you away, it, but it's nice and hoppy. This is this. I think this is even. To me, it seems hoppier than their IPA kits. This is, uh, it's got a nice, crisp, bitter taste. Uh, this one here, let me take another taste of this first. And as you can see, big creamy head on it. Uh, tr always, these uh, Cooper's kits, pretty much, especially the darker ones, you're always going to get a big creamy head out of them. It's uh, Ter terrific product, I can't say enough about them. But anyways, I'll put it up on the screen as always how I made this beer. Um, it's your standard uh, one Cooper's English Bitter Kit, and then we got a pound and a half of liquid malt, uh, liquid malt extract, and then we got a pound and a half of the high malt glucose. Again, once again, we topped it up to 20 liters of water. And for carbonation, on this one I used uh, between a cup and a cup and a quarter of uh, dextrose. So again, here it is, the English Bitter by Cooper's. The, excuse me, this is a, one of my favorite kits. This is a very versatile beer. It goes great with a meal. Um, 
it goes nice on a hot summer's day and it's good in the winter too it's it's one of the most versatile beers that cooper's has it's a, a standard go-to kit if you if you don't want something light you want something with a little bite to it a little bit of snap to it you're in the mood for something different this is the kit to go to and like i said look at this a beautiful clear this no chill haze on this one at all it's hard to tell on the uh it's hard to tell on the computer. You can see my hand through the back of it, though. It's just crystal clear, beautiful copper color, and that nice, big, foamy, creamy head lacing. Ah, oh, it's unreal. These Cooper products are great. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep going through all the different kits, just get as many as possible. Uh, just a little note, I'll talk about this more when I uh, review. I got one more Brewcraft kit coming up for review, and that's going to be the last one, and that's because... Uh, Brewcraft has actually uh, switched names. It has a new name now, and um, I can't remember it right offhand. But uh, I'll bring all the details when I do my last Brewcraft uh, review, and then we'll move on and do some of the new kits, whatever the new name is. Also, we got a uh, Mutton's kit in the closet that'll be coming up soon enough. I think that's the next one I'm going to make. It's actually a Mutton Stout, but. Um, for this beer here, it's uh, a solid 4 out of 5. Could be 4.5 out of 5, but this is a solid Cooper's kit. You can't go wrong. Um, if you like a really super hoppy beer, add some extra hops and it'll really spice it up. Um, if it's a little too hoppy for you, go ahead and top it up to uh, 23 liters maybe. Or instead of going with the pound and a half of high malt glucose, just put in all malt and that'll kind of uh, take a little bit of the bitter taste away from it. Anyways, uh, definitely I highly recommend these Cooper's kits and this uh, this uh, bitter, this is an extraordinary, extraordinary beer. Let's have another taste. And if you like nice creamy head, this is a beer for you. This is a beer for you for sure. Anyways, uh, like I said, we'll be back with more kit reviews. We're going to keep going right through them. We'll have new ones coming out all the time. There's still tons of my local brew shop that I haven't tried to make yet, and uh, once I make them, we're going to get them on here just so you guys have an idea what each kit looks like, tastes like, and it's a good little reference point. Anyways, keep on brewing, guys, and uh, cheers.